Hello guys and welcome to another Financial Markets Weekly Update video. My name is Tiliana, I'm the Head of Investments and Market Research at Pure and in today's video we're going to see how the commodities, stocks and especially crypto markets reacted to the news and also what to expect in the current week from the markets. So in the previous week we had the non-farm employment change and unemployment rate. The July 2022 US employment report surprised to the upside and depicts a labor market that is still very tight. Non-farm payrolls rose by 528,000, more than double the consensus forecast. The unemployment rate ticked down to 3.5%, matching the low seen in the robust pre-pandemic labor market. Average hourly earnings rose by 5.2% over the 12 months ending in July. Over the past three months and adjusted for compositional shifts in the pool of workers, earnings also rose at an annual rate of 5.2% up from 4.5% last month. These wage readings are well above what would be consistent with the Fed's target on 2% inflation target. Now let's move on into the crypto news. Near Protocol discloses wallet breach that may have exposed private keys. According to a recent blog post by Near Protocol, the network was suffered an undisclosed security breach in the month of June that may have resulted in a third-party service potentially gaining access to the seed phrases of the user wallets. The security breach was disclosed by a security firm and was fixed by the team immediately after discovery. The breach was found in Near Protocol's wallet recovery feature that allowed users to set an email address or phone number to restore their wallets. Moving on, in other news, crypto lender Voyager Digital to reopen cash withdrawals on August 11. After more than a month since suspending operations on its platform, crypto lender Voyager has announced that it is planning to restore access to cash deposits on August 11. The announcement comes after a court ruling that allowed Voyager to gain access to $270 million worth of cash deposits that were locked in an account at Metropolitan Commercial Banks. Unknown exploit drains funds from wallets on the Solana network. On late Tuesday night, an unknown attacker drained at least $5 million worth of assets from wallets on the Solana network. According to the latest report from blockchain auditor Ottersec, at least 8,000 wallets have been affected by the attack so far. Robinhood slashes workforce by 23% as retail trading bubble bursts. According to a blog post published on Tuesday, online trading brokerage Robinhood is laying off roughly 780 workers, which is approximately 23% of its workforce as part of the reorganization that will also result in the closure of two of its offices. Now, let's move on into the current week's news. This week we have US inflation, MBA mortgage obligations, and sentiment data. Last week we saw some key releases for the US, namely the US non-farm data, US construction spending, PMIs, ISM service, and balance of trade data. So this week, US inflation data will reveal how prices have fared as the Fed tightens their monetary policy. Close followers of the housing market will keep an eye on MBA mortgage obligations, which have started to increase in recent weeks, while sentiment data will also be widely watched this week. So these are all the news for the current week, guys. That's also what happened in the previous week. So if you have any questions or if you want to open a trading account with us, you can contact us through our website or our social media. We'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching and wishing you a profitable trading week.